Finding the Higgs would be an, a very important piece uh, of the puzzle we're, look, we're, we're trying to understand in, in the, in the, how the, all the particles fit together in the universe, and in particular, how they get mass. And that's, that is the, the one thing that we don't fully understand, uh, in, and the Higgs will, will give us some uh, handle on that, and it'll be very, uh, very useful for that, and we can then study how the Higgs uh, the Higgs's properties and how the particles interact with the Higgs and, and how they get their mass the, the way we, if, and if it's the way we think it is in our models. So it would be a very important confirmation of all the ideas that we've developed over uh, 50 years or more. And, uh, and, and so I think it would be very important. It would confirm that we really do understand a very at the most fundamental level how, uh, how nature works and how, ma how mass what mass is at, at a very fundamental level. So I think it would, it would have a, uh, it would mean a lot of things, but uh, but certainly in terms of our understanding and, and uh, there would be there would be very important uh, gains from that. And what about for you personally? Because this will be something you've obviously worked on for a long time. How would it feel for you personally to find the Higgs? So uh, uh, yeah, so I think I've personally been doing research in the direction of trying to understand these questions of, of how particles get mass and, and how things like the W boson, which is a, a, another massive particle, uh, how, how it gets its mass and measuring its mass and how that interrelates with the Higgs and, and all that. And so I think it would be very exciting to know if the Higgs is, is uh, where, where we've predicted it to be based on the other measurements that I've, uh, that I've worked on personally. Uh, it, that would be very interesting, and, and, and if it is there, it, like I say, it's a very important confirmation of, of the whole theory that we understand everything, and we can predict we can predict such an important thing as the existence of another particle that no one else has other, uh, otherwise seen. So that would be very, uh, very. Um, it, it would be, certainly be a, a long, uh, the end of, a, of quite a bit long road. I've been doing measurements like this for, for 10, 10 to 15 years, so it would be very gratifying to get to, to that stage and, and, uh, and then think about what we can do uh, if we do see it and how to measure it and things like that. Yeah, because where do we go from here? Obviously, there's been such a hype around the Higgs. What's the next big step, the next question? Yeah, so if, so if we do see it uh, where, uh, where we... All the other data suggests, all the data so far suggests we should see it. If it is, if it is confirmed, uh, then then it, it will be a very. It's certainly a very interesting uh, type of Higgs. It's it's relatively low mass to, to where it could have been in the allowed range, and uh, and it it there there are several different uh, types of reactions we can then use to try to measure. And so I think we would very. We'd have to go through all those different reactions and, and understand them and measure them very precisely to see if it's all consistent with the with the very specific predictions that are made in the theory. So, so we do have a lot of tests to see if this is and, and to really understand if this is the, the the only source of mass for these particles or if there's something else uh, that that's contributing. So I think there's a lot of very detailed study we'd want to make and and to see. You know, we, we'd see that we that the general idea is correct, but then in the details, we'd want to know if the, if there's anything else that that's uh, that's there and, and that can fit, fill in some something else that, that we might not understand. Because of the focus on the Higgs regarding the LHC, some people may start to think, "Well, we found the Higgs yeah. now. What do we need the LHC for? What would you say to that?" Well, I, I think a, a big part of it, that there's, there's a few pieces, so certainly a big part of it would be to measure and understand the Higgs and see if it really is, uh, if there's anything you can learn about some, some other new particles or some other new processes that might, might be going on beyond uh, the, the theory that we've, we've developed. Uh, there, there's, there are certainly a lot of weaknesses in the theory in terms of things that they can't explain. And if we could get hints as to as to what else might be going on to, that could provide those explanations, and the Higgs is, is definitely a very good candidate to study that in detail to try to get to those those things. And, and beyond just studying the Higgs, just in general, going to as this LHC gets more and more power, gets higher in energies, there's it opens up new possibilities of finding some some other new process that might be explaining some of these. Whether so, we don't know if it's connected to the Higgs or not, or, or if it's some other new force, but, uh, but there are things that, that we don't know, like what is the source of dark matter, and we think maybe 
we could produce at the LHC, so we have to really try to get as much energy out of the LHC, as much data, to try to see if we can start seeing hints of those kinds of things, uh, the, some of the other questions that are important that we don't yet know the answers to. So, moving forward in your mind, when it comes to the point that the Higgs, if it is found, yeah. is officially announced yeah. or not announced, yeah. you know, how, how do you think you'll be feeling at that stage when it's actually announced? Well, I think it'll be very exciting, certainly. I mean, yes, it'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll be excitement and relief, too, after so many years that we finally got to that point. It's, it's, uh, it's a big milestone, and, and you have to enjoy it as much as you can. And, but certainly, the, it'll, the, the work will continue. So there'll be more studies to make and things to, to think about and try to understand. So it's then it's a good uh, time to, to uh, take stock of, of what we've understood and, and the importance of it, and then to try to figure out how do we, how do we go to the next step and answer the next question that we, next set of questions that are, that are important.